Well, welcome back, friends. I shook the camera. We'll start over again. Well, welcome back, friends, to my tabletop review of a couple of... That's a big fly. A tabletop review of a couple of wool blankets. Being that tonight it's supposed to be in the 40s, June 3rd, and it's a good time to talk blankets. I've got two blankets to talk about. This is a Pendleton wool blanket, 100% wool made in the United States. This is an Ectos brand wool blanket, 100% wool made in India. The blanket from India is in the $50 range on Amazon. The Pendleton wool blanket is over $100 on Amazon. And then I've got a third kind of a sneaker here that's not a wool blanket, but it's something I've come to like. It's a great day today. It's going to be chilly tonight. Let's talk wool. Back in a minute. We'll start off with this Pendleton wool blanket. This is actually fairly thin compared to the $50 Ectos wool blanket. Um, I did discover that with the darker navy blue color, this thing sort of eats light. It eats light inside the camper, and it also um, looks really dark on film. However, uh, I like the pattern and the plaid on this Pendleton. It's a home collection, made in the USA, 100% wool, dry clean only. The Ectos wool blanket is made in India. When I first got it, it was a little thinner, uh, a little denser, and you can wash this in cold water. So I put it in in cold water with some wool light, and I washed it. It did shed a lot of extra felt off of it. Um, this is a woven blanket, so it's not like a pressed felt blanket, but being that wool is a natural fiber, uh, depending on the length of the fiber, um, they do rub off. It's just like socks or anything else, the, the fiber will rub off. So there was a lot in the washing machine as far as extra bits. Pendleton does the same thing. It does have pills on it, uh, wool pills, just like a wool sweater. Um, if you rub on it, it'll wear. Um, the Ectos actually is not very scratchy, and it's a little breezy, so hopefully the wind won't be too bad here. But we did have a cold front go through today, which is why I'm talking about wool. Uh, here's the Ectos brand, E-K-T-O-S. Available on Amazon. Pendleton been around a long time. Also available on Amazon. You can look at the stitching. Nice fine stitching. Whipped. Um, keeps the edge from fraying. Similar stitching on the Ectos. It's a looks like a cotton or some type of smaller and tighter weave. As far as warmth, this is Pendleton blanket really isn't a winter blanket. I think if you had something else and you added this on top, uh, it's it's pretty good. If the fan is on, and that's either the air conditioner fan or the fan that I've got that just blows um, air around, I like to keep the air moving, uh, it goes through this, even with the sheet underneath it. Ectos blanket, it does not. And this thing, this thing is pretty thick. I, I was really impressed by it. Uh, for fifty dollars, I think it's a great value. There was a complaint on Amazon where someone had uh, decided they said, "Well," and the adventure dog. Someone said, "Well, I've washed this blanket nine times, and it sucks because uh, it keeps losing wool and, and making wool lint in the washer and dryer." Well, or not the dryer, but the washer. And if you wash your wool blanket nine times, that's a little excessive. I mean, these things are, uh, that's why you use sheets. They're made to be used uh, and washed sparingly and try to, be, and try to keep them clean uh, without having to wash them all the time. As far as washing, Pendleton is dry clean only. Ectos, you can wash in cold water. I used wool light and it did shed a lot, um, which I'd expect that with a wool natural fiber blanket. Why wool? Well, it's a durable good. It, it'll be around a long time. You can buy cheaper cotton quilts that wear out. The the fabric wears out, and any blanket will wear out. Um, the also thing with the wool blanket is they are they do retain their heat if they get wet. Uh, if you're using it for camping, bushcraft, uh, in a tent, 
Um, they do retain a portion of their heat when they're wet, and that's pretty handy. I just like a wool blanket. I think they're warmer. It's more classic. And I don't know. I think for the look, I like the plaid. It actually looks really nice sitting on a queen-size bed. It just barely covers the edges. Length is fine, but edge to edge it does not cover it. The ectos is a little bit bigger. Um, it does cover the queen over a little bit on the edge. It's still not like a quilt that would hang to the floor. As far as warmth, uh, to be honest, the Ectos probably uh, would win out over this Pendleton Home Collection blanket. I know Pendleton does make bigger blankets, but they also increase to two or three hundred dollars in price. Uh, if you look at a Hudson Bay blanket, the same thing. They are thicker, but uh, there's a, a price associated with that. So overall, for value, uh, the Common Man blanket, this is good stuff. Um, you know, it, it does fuzz a little bit. You're just going to have to deal with that. It's like having a dog that sheds. Right, adventure dog? Uh, if you have a dog that sheds, um, they're still a good dog. Uh, they just have to put up a little hair. This blanket sheds a little bit, definitely not as much as the other one. It has a, a, a thicker weave. Ectos does not. It's a, it's a denser weave and a little bit more uh, fuzz or lint that comes off of it. But I like it. It's comfortable. It really isn't itchy. And that's about it. I do have a sneaker that's going to appear here in a minute. And the sneaker... Quabamba, with a little bug, is a Snug Pack Jungle Blanket. They do make the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket in an extra large. Now, if you're familiar with the military poncho liner, this is the Snug Pack version of that. It's much thicker. It's a lot warmer. It has a nylon weave to it. And this side of the fabric is windproof. The other side is not. It's a, a smoother weave or a smoother uh, nylon. So it's wind resistant. So you can put it on in a tent or in a, a, a hammock as a blanket. So you can use your Snug Pack jungle blanket. And this is a regular size, but I will order an extra large. You can use this in a hammock or when you're camping in the summer. And this is a pretty warm blanket. The nice part of it is that it's wind resistant and water resistant. Even in your tent, if it's cool and there's air moving, it can be chilly. So with the ah, wind resistant cover on it, I like it. This thing's really great. It's really warm. Um, they do make a larger version that's that's actually bigger than the other two blankets that I have here. Uh, this thing was about $35, I believe, on Amazon. The extra large is $45. It, I definitely recommend that. You know, whether you're just using it for camping as a blanket in the summer because if you're laying on top of your sleeping bag, it gets crushed, so you're not going to use any of that loft. So you just cover yourself up with a blanket. I've done it for years with my sleeping bags. I rarely zip sleeping bags up anymore. I've used them for a blanket uh, a lot longer than the sleeping quilt had been popular. Stunk pack you can wash. Um, it's made in China. So there's three things to look at. A Pendleton wool blanket. Nice design, well made. Not as warm as I'd expect. I was a little bit disappointed with that. I've had it for a number of years. An Ectos $50 wool blanket on Amazon. Dense weave, you're going to put up with a little bit of fuzz shedding off of it. Um, the color is good, it's a little dark though. And the Snug Pack, it does come in a, a military color. These are designed for the British military. Um, their jungle blanket is, uh, it's about the size of a big throw. The extra large would definitely be more like a blanket size, and I plan on getting one of those. And I can use it on the bed or use it for camping in the summer until it gets a little chilly. Thanks for coming along, friends. And I hope that uh, a little bit of information on some of my experiences with a couple wool blankets are helpful. And if I find anything else in the future as far as wool blankets, um, with maybe not 100% wool, but a little bit mixed, I'll, I'll put that on video and we'll see what it looks like. Thanks for coming along. The Adventure Dog. Thanks you for watching. And we hope that you enjoyed our video. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and help our little channel grow. Thank you for watching.